Hi guys, it's Sarah and Emily from the Keto Twins. Today is July 4th, so happy um, Independence Day to everybody and I hope you're having a safe and fun time. Um, we decided to film a little vlog today just showing what we're eating today on July 4th. So I hope you guys enjoy this short little vlog that we put together. So it's the 4th of July and we're here. We're going to be harvesting some keto-friendly vegetables in my little garden. So let's get started. My mom is also here celebrating the 4th of July. Safely social distancing, of course. So let's get some harvesting done. Some tomatoes growing in this little grow box here. Um, it looks like some of them are ripening up, so that's exciting. They're early girl tomatoes. They are supposed to bloom earlier than most, uh, 52 days supposedly. And uh, so moving along, here's some cucumbers that we have growing here. I would, there's one down here that's kind of bigger. You can see that? Well, that's, yeah, that's definitely where they're. <gasps> Ooh. So like we're gonna, one. yeah. We're gonna snip that off and add it to our basket. And did you know that they're like really spiky? Uh, no, I didn't. Yeah, well now you do. Um, I do have to do some deadheading in here because see, look at, there's, there's been some birds that have been eating my um cucumbers but there's plenty of other fruit that are okay so are they fruit i don't know um here are my eggplants um these are orient express eggplants they're supposed to be early blooming i do have one it looks like one eggplant developing down there so far they're spiky too they are no yes, yes. the stem oh so um hopefully we'll have a couple eggplants in the next few weeks <laughs> um this monstrosity is my kooka melon that doesn't have any fruit on it yet, but um, it's I need to get it a better trellis because it's it's wanting to crawl taller and it doesn't know where to go, so it's kind of like uh -oh. strangling other plants, which is not good. That, okay, um, this is actually uh, stevia leaves that I grew from seed inside. Um, you can put them in tea. They um, are how uh, stevia in granular form is made, so you can literally just eat the leaf. I guess I'll eat it. Yes, it tastes like it tastes it's sweet. sweet. Yeah. Oh. No, you get your own leaf bomb. Social oh, oh distancing. social distancing. Like that? Um, this wait, one? no. This yeah, the, make up a big leaf off that one. Mm. <laughs> but I also like when I'm eating it. I'm also like, I hope this is really is stevia. I hope my dogs didn't pee on that yeah. either. Oh. These are bell pepper plants by Proven Winners. Um, I forget what they're called. Oh, I have a tag here. Ugh. Bell boy pepper. So I'm excited to have some of those to harvest coming up. Moving along, we have um, a, just a jumble of stuff. Um, I have these ornamental cabbages. Um, and I have, this is parsley. I don't know if we need parsley on anything. This is um, jalapenos. No, this is a jalapeno, but I don't have any jalapenos yet on it. Yeah, you do. A couple baby jalapenos growing there. A jalapeno, if you will. And um, this is the basil plant that I'm going to take some cuttings of because oh, that's, that's, that is a jalapeno. They look very similar, actually. This is a basil plant. I'm just going to harvest some of the... Um, that's a huge. Yeah, it is huge. This is a Maisel Basil by Proven Winners. Very vigorous growing basil plant. So oh. I don't know how much we need. Let's just grab another, another thingy here. Let's just grab this for now. And then here are my ginormous zucchini plants that are just, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. They're huge and um, it said to plant them six feet apart, and um, I said, whatever, who cares? And this is what happens. They just come massive, and it's now getting over onto this side, this whole plant. So listen to the tags and plant appropriately. Um, oh, wow. So here's a zucchini in there. If you can see it, here's my hand for comparison. Oh, my God. The, the zucchinis that I have are about a tenth of the size of this. Really? Yeah, because they're in the grow boxes. Oh. Um, so I do fertilize this um, every four weeks or so. Gonna cut this bad boy off right here. Okay. So yeah, here's the zucchini. And uh, I don't know if we have any more ready uh, right now. They're all kind of young, but I do have to do some pruning later on today. Here's a pumpkin. 
that I am growing. And um, they're called fairy tale pumpkins. Hopefully by fall I'll have some nice pumpkins to decorate with, so I'm really excited about that. My plan is to trellis them up this fence and grow them behind my garage, which has weeds behind it anyway. So anyway, so that was my quick garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go inside now and prepare um, a grilled zucchini dish. So we'll show you how we're gonna make that. If anyone cares about flowers, Sarah's got oh. some nice. Yeah, these are my potted plants. This is um, a coleus called Golden Dreams, um, which is really beautiful. There's some fireworks going on in the background. Um, this is a king cut grass, also by Peru Winners, and a sweet potato vine down the front. These are my husband's banana plants. He's into banana plants, um, ornamental bananas. And um, this is a purple heart plant as a spiller. These are some coleus, not proven winners, so you can kind of see the difference between <laughs> proven winners and not. And these are my hay racks, which I absolutely love. And uh, inside is lissum, some um, sparkling amethyst, superbina, superbina, and royal magenta supertunia. Here we have some Sedona Sunset coleus, which are really pretty, um, along with some Purple Heart and a Musa banana. So, and another basket. So, yeah, those are my flowers I take care of every day. I have to come out here and water them later. Let's head on inside. This is my little basket of herbs. You know, if you don't have a huge balcony, or um, backyard, why not grow a little herb basket because you can just have some oregano, sage, and thyme. You can cut these and use them in your cooking every day. It's really hot. <laughs> so while our meat is cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go and make the side dishes. We have this magazine that we get from our local grocery store called Mariano's um, and it has this like um, grilled lemon chili zucchini recipe. So that's what we're gonna follow. I can put the recipe on the screen if you want the exact measurements. Um, so I have all those ingredients here, just basil, chili flake, lemon juice, pepper, salt. And I'm gonna just toss my vegetables and then we're gonna get them on the grill. So here for some appetizers, we have ranch dip that I really like. Um, how many, does it have the carbs on there? I think it has a decent amount. It does have, it has two grams of carbs per serving. And on the side, we have some bok choy that we cut up into little pieces along with some cucumber. It's a little crunchy element that you can dip in your ranch. Um, my mom also made some guacamole, so we're gonna eat that as well. I was never a fan of cucumbers as a dipping thing. When you're on keto, you really appreciate, you start to learn to appreciate vegetables, especially ones that you grow in your own garden, right Sarah? Yep, exactly. So let's start eating this stuff. The meat still has some more time to cook to get up to temperature and then yeah, we'll show you it all put together. Okay, and my mom is laughing at me now, so. Cut. We have some ribs here that Alex marinated with uh, some mustard, salt, pepper, and brad smoked today. you enjoyed the short little vlog that we put together for you guys and it gave you some inspiration for some future summer barbecues that you might be throwing. Um, I'm Sarah. I'm Emily. From the Keto Twins signing out.